medical evacuation, resupply, close air support. All tasks for helicopters and their crews, but very soon that could change. Strong, heavy lift drones in development are breaking their personal best payloads, stretching what was previously thought possible, some carrying over 300 kilograms. If they did carry the burden on these missions, what would it mean for the military helicopter? It's an interesting moment. Anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, surveillance. Redesign is probably the wrong phrase, but will be recalibrated. You know, the idea that a uh, heavy lift uninhabited aerial vehicles uh, will simply replace uh, crewed helicopters, uh, I think is wrong. I think they'll operate alongside each other for quite some time. I think one of the interesting things will be the extent that what is now considered heavy lift will become medium lift and the heavy lift is going to move up to 500 kilos. I expect that we'll see you know, more of the kind of transport role that traditionally sits with crewed helicopters shift over. What happens is if you free up capacity, then you use it to go and do something else. Ukraine has accepted the sacrifice of drones rather than crewed aircraft on intelligence gathering missions where they're likely to be shot down. But what about another scenario, where the successful delivery of ammunition would be a matter of life and death to those on the ground? One option there would be to look at some kind of you know, defensive aids on the platform itself so that if it does get threatened, they can do something about it. You see language around three very broad categories. Exquisite, attributable and disposable. The exquisite will be very high-end, large and therefore expensive. Attributable are ones where you kind of think, if I need, for instance, to get ammunition to a unit under stress, but where there's a significant risk to the platform, I would use that. Mr Barry thinks 2025 onwards will see heavy lift drones increasingly entering service. A UK carrier strike group deployment is planned for the same year. Could they feature? It will be to not be surprised that we're going to see more of the, the uninhabited rotary platforms increasing on decks. I think there's an extraordinary amount of interest in uninhabited systems within the Royal Navy. You're going to see a great deal of experimentation because of some of the roles that these, these, these systems are going to be used for. Uh, people will only think of them once they get them actually into service. That kind of first contact with the technology, if you like, lets you begin to explore what you can actually do with it. Tom Sables, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.